Serif Movie Plus X3 is an easy to use and powerful digital video editing package. It allows students of all ages and abilities to create and edit videos, adding effects and transitions to produce high quality movies and presentations. In this how to, we are going to look at how to remove and change the background of a movie using Movie Plus X3. The technique used is known as chroma key, but is more commonly referred to as blue screening. Here, we have taken the footage of these high school students and replaced the background, making it appear as if they are in the jungle. This is the effect we are aiming to achieve. To create our chroma key effect, the first step is to import a selection of media files into our project and to store them in the media pane. Movie Plus X3 boasts great compatibility and adding media files is quick and easy using the new download from Device Wizard. It's possible to import media from a variety of sources including HD camcorders, digital cameras, or from files already stored on your computer. With the media imported and ready to go, we can add it to our project by simply dropping it into the storyboard, a new and innovative feature that makes organising and editing footage as easy as possible. Using the storyboard, our video clips are instantly transformed into a smooth movie, complete with stylish crossfade transitions, as we can see here in the preview. With the basics of the movie in place, we can now add the chroma key effect. To do this, we are going to change our screen layout and work in timeline mode. Switching to use the full timeline gives us access to all the flexible power of Movie Plus X3 and makes working with multiple video tracks quick and easy. This makes it simple to achieve high-end editing effects. Here we have the movie we created in the storyboard displayed in video track 1 of our timeline. What we need to do now is add a second video track to our timeline. Movie Plus X3 allows you to work with an unlimited number of video tracks. These can be added using the Insert menu. With both tracks in place, I am now going to rename the tracks to keep work organised and accessible. With both tracks ready to go, we need to add the green screen footage to our foreground track. With the foreground video in place, we can now preview the movie, only, as you will note, we can't yet see any jungle behind it. We are now ready to add the chroma key effect to remove parts of the foreground clip to reveal what's on the lower track. To do this, select the clip you want to apply the effect to. Now, we can launch the effects gallery, home to over 100 preset effects that transform and add pizzazz to your movie at the click of a button. Let's apply the chroma key effect. Chroma key can remove any colour, not just blue and green. So with the effect in place, we now need to use the Properties tab to choose which shade of colour to remove. In an instant, the green area is removed from the video and the jungle footage we could see earlier is revealed. To optimise the effect, we can suppress the background further and add a slight blur to the edges. This will help the foreground sit more naturally against its new background. And there we have our finished chroma key effect using Movie Plus X3. To view our end result, I'm going to use the full screen preview located in the top left of our video preview window. This will give a great impression of the final video before it is exported.